Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating differences between Hong Kong and Guangzhou, two vibrant cities in southern China. These cities, though geographically close, offer a rich tapestry of contrasts that make them unique in their own right. You know, it's like having a pair of twins raised by completely different families. They may look similar at first glance, but their experiences and environments have shaped them into distinct individuals. They might share some DNA, but their personalities, oh, those are worlds apart. One might be outgoing and adventurous while the other is reserved and introspective. The same goes for Hong Kong and Guangzhou. We're talking about two cities separated by, well, not that much geographically, but by a whole lot of history, politics and cultural quirks. Hong Kong, with its colonial past, has developed a unique blend of Eastern and Western influences. Hong Kong, the former British colony, known for its towering skyscrapers and bustling financial district. It's a city that never sleeps, constantly buzzing with energy and innovation. And then there's Guangzhou, a mainland Chinese megacity, a manufacturing powerhouse with ancient roots. It's a city where tradition meets industry, where the old and new coexist in a fascinating blend. So buckle up because we're about to explore the clash and the blend of East meets West, tradition meets modernity and everything in between. From the bustling streets of Hong Kong to the historic alleys of Guangzhou, there's so much to uncover. This is Hong Kong versus Guangzhou, a tale of two cities. Join us as we delve into their histories, their cultures, and what makes each city a unique gem in the vast landscape of China. All right, let's get our bearings straight. We're diving into the fascinating world of two dynamic cities in southern China. We're talking about two cities in the Guangdong province of southern China. This province is a powerhouse known for its economic vitality and cultural richness. Guangzhou, the provincial capital, sitting pretty on the Pearl River Delta. This city is a bustling metropolis, a blend of ancient traditions and modern skyscrapers. It's a hub for trade, finance and culture, making it one of the most important cities in China. And then there's Hong Kong, a special administrative region clinging to the coast, just a hop, skip and a jump away. Hong Kong is renowned for its stunning skyline, vibrant nightlife and as a global financial center. Now, Hong Kong, they like to do things their own way. This city is a melting pot of cultures where East meets West in a unique blend. See, they were under British rule for over 150 years. This colonial past has left a lasting impact on the city's architecture, legal system and even its daily life. They even drive on the wrong side of the road. It's a quirky reminder of their British heritage. It's like the UK said, we're leaving, but you're keeping the steering wheel on the right as a souvenir. This little detail adds to the city's unique charm. They returned to China in 1997 under this one country, two systems deal. This agreement allows Hong Kong to maintain a high degree of autonomy. Basically, they get their own mini-government, their own laws, their own currency. This system is designed to preserve Hong Kong's way of life and its economic and social systems. It's like that friend who still uses Venmo when everyone else is on Cash App. Hong Kong's unique status allows it to operate differently from mainland China. Guangzhou, on the other hand, well, they're playing by Beijing's rules. This city is fully integrated into the mainland's political and economic systems, a crucial cog in the Chinese economic machine. Guangzhou is a major manufacturing hub contributing significantly to China's GDP. Its industries range from electronics to automobiles, making it a vital part of the country's economic landscape. But it's not all business. Guangzhou is also rich in culture. From traditional Cantonese opera to its famous dim sum, the city offers a vibrant cultural experience. Meanwhile, Hong Kong dazzles with its iconic Victoria Harbour and a nightlife that never sleeps. The city is a blend of old and new, where ancient temples stand alongside modern skyscrapers. Whether you're exploring bustling markets or savouring street food, Hong Kong offers a sensory overload that's hard to match. And in Guangzhou, you can marvel at the Canton Tower or relax in one of its many parks. The city is a testament to China's rapid modernization and its rich history. So there you have it, two cities, each with its own story, its own rhythm and its own way of life. Both are integral parts of the fascinating tapestry that is southern China. Let's rewind the clock, shall we? 
Guangzhou, this place is old like ancient trading port old. We're talking Silk Road, spices, porcelain, the whole shebang. It was the gateway to China for centuries. Then the Brits sailed in with their tea addiction and, well, things got a little complicated. They saw Hong Kong, this little island, and thought perfect spot for a cuppa and some trade. Fast forward through opium wars and colonial rule and boom! Hong Kong becomes this international financial hub, a fusion of East and West. Meanwhile, Guangzhou kept doing its thing, manufacturing everything under the sun. You want it, they make it. Now let's talk about the language barrier, or should I say the language buffer. In Hong Kong, it's Cantonese, the rebellious younger sibling of Mandarin. Fast, tonal, full of slang that'll make your head spin. Guangzhou, they're sticking with Mandarin, the language of the mainland. It's like trying to order dim sum in a Starbucks. You might get some confused looks. Culturally, Hong Kong is a melting pot. You've got British influences, traditional Chinese customs, and a dash of international flair. Think afternoon tea with a side of feng shui. Guangzhou, it's a bit more rooted in Chinese traditions. Cantonese opera, lion dances, the smell of incense wafting through the air. Here's where things get really interesting. Hong Kong, they're all about that finance life. Stock market, banking, real estate, you name it, they're making money off of money. Guangzhou, they're the ones actually making the stuff. Electronics, textiles, cars, you bought it. Chances are it came from a factory in Guangzhou. It's like that friend who's great with investments and the other friend who's got a killer Etsy shop. Both successful, just in different ways. But let's be real, this economic divide, it's a bit of a touchy subject. Hong Kong's been feeling the pressure from the mainland and Guangzhou's been trying to move up in the world. Chapter five, concrete jungle versus ancient alleys, lifestyle and modernization. Let's paint a picture, shall we? Hong Kong, it's a vertical city. Skyscrapers reaching for the heavens, tiny apartments stacked on top of each other. It's like a game of Tetris, but with rent you can't afford. Guangzhou, it's sprawling, a mix of old and new. You've got your modern skyscrapers, but also ancient temples and traditional neighborhoods. Life in Hong Kong is fast-paced, efficient, expensive. Think Tokyo with a side of dim sum. Guangzhou, it's a bit more laid back, affordable, and steeped in tradition. Chapter 6, Freedom's Price, Governance and Liberty. In this chapter, we delve into the intricate balance between governance and liberty, a topic that has shaped societies and sparked debates for centuries. Now this is where the differences get real. The contrast between Hong Kong and Guangzhou is stark, almost like night and day. Hong Kong, they enjoy freedoms that are, well, let's just say they're not exactly common on the mainland. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and the ability to express oneself without fear of retribution. You can even protest the government without, you know, disappearing. This freedom to voice dissent is a cornerstone of their society. Guangzhou, they're playing by a different set of rules. The bustling city operates under the watchful eye of the central government. The Communist Party is in charge, and they don't take too kindly to dissent. The government maintains strict control over the flow of information and public discourse. It's like that friend whose parents let them do whatever they want, and the friend who has to be home by 9 p.m. The difference in governance styles is palpable and affects every aspect of daily life. This difference in freedoms it's a major point of tension. The people of Hong Kong are acutely aware of the liberties they stand to lose. Hong Kongers, they're fighting to hold on to their liberties, while Beijing's been tightening its grip. The struggle is not just about political control, but about preserving a way of life that values individual freedoms and rights. The roots of this tension can be traced back to the handover of Hong Kong from British to Chinese rule in 1997. Promises were made about maintaining a high degree of autonomy but the reality has been more complex. For many in Hong Kong, the fight for freedom is not just political, it's deeply personal. It's about preserving their identity, their culture, and their future. As we continue to explore the dynamics between governance and liberty, it's clear that the price of freedom is often high, but for many, it's a price worth paying. Chapter 7 Tourist trap or cultural gem? Exploring the cities. All right, enough about politics. Let's talk tourism. Hong Kong, it's a shopper's paradise. Designer boutiques, bustling markets. You can find anything and everything. 
Plus the food scene? Forget about it. Michelin-starred restaurants, street food stalls, you'll never go hungry. Guangzhou, it's all about that history and culture, ancient temples, traditional gardens, and museums galore. Plus, it's the birthplace of Cantonese cuisine, so get ready for some dim sum heaven. Whether you're looking for a luxury shopping spree or a cultural deep dive, these two cities have got you covered. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Hong Kong and Guangzhou. We've explored their unique histories, their cultural quirks, their economic disparities, and their ongoing struggle for identity. From the bustling streets of Hong Kong to the ancient alleys of Guangzhou, these two cities offer a glimpse into the complex and ever-evolving story of China. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content.